Are you a gamer, an artist, or a movie enthusiast? Want a game on a 4K monitor that has no limits? Display your art on a building? Or enjoy your favorite movie in a cinema-like experience within your own home? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Welcome everyone. Today we're looking over small throw projectors. So from the same company that brought you the P400 Plus. If you missed the video about this, there's a little link up there you can go and click to watch it. Now, AXA have brought something out that's slimmer and way more powerful. I introduce to you the SLC 450. And SLC stands for Silicon Liquid Crystal Technology. So it's all new, all fancy. Let's dive right into it. So this little powerhouse is probably one of the smallest small throw projectors I've actually seen on the market. While still kicking out full force that you would see in some thousand pound projectors that have to be fixed in a static position to get the best possible quality. Where this one, this one's a little versatile. You can move this baby around. You can grow a screen to the size of a wall. You can shrink the screen to the size of a microwave. It does it all. So we're gonna dive in to the build quality, the features and specs, and also connectivity. This is a 1080p native resolution, but can support 4K for your gaming consoles, your movies, your imagery, your screen mirroring, and all of that. Unfortunately though, it is capped to 30 FPS, whether that's 1080p, 4K, 2K, and so on. So just keep that in mind. But unlike the P400 Plus, it doesn't have an integrated battery, so it is constantly plugged in. But on the plus side, it only uses 35 watts to do so. So it's a very super economic friendly device. This also supports the latest in Bluetooth technology, which is the 5.0 and Wi-Fi from 2.4 to five gigahertz. I will show you some B-roll of it in use so you can see how far away and how close you can get this thing to maximize and shrink down the image uh, as much as possible really. And it also is running Android. So if you have any apps that you wish to install that aren't already on this, you can go ahead and do so. Hello, Future Callum here. I forgot to mention about the streaming software within this product. So you can get Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, all of those, Hulu and all that jazz within this. But anyway, I'll let you get back to the video. Completely forgot to say that, but I love you all. Bye. Right, unboxing time. So it's a very simplistic box. Literally just take off the top. Greeted with some foam here and then your little user manuals as always. This one I prefer compared to the P400 Plus for the controller because this is an actual controller unlike the P400 Plus, which was more like your RGB LED strip controllers. But this one's a bit more clicky, versatile, I like it. It's also got a mouse pointer at the top here so you can click it and use a cursor on the screen. There is one thing that I've noticed about these devices if you are in the UK, they come with a US or a European plug so you will have to go out and get an adapter, which I also need to do to get the B-roll for this. So that's why I unfortunately won't be able to plug it in while making this video because I need to actually get the adapter for said plug. I did have one though, but I blew the fuse. That's on me. I have tried to find a DC charger in the house, but unfortunately the ends is a little bit different, so it didn't work. But I will get an adapter for the B-roll so you can see it in action for obviously when I'm speaking about specs and stuff. That's the boring bit. You want a bit of nice B-roll, so we'll do that. Anywho, moving on, you get this nice stand here. Compared to the P400 Plus, this stand 100 times better. It's made more of metal on the legs, so it does hold its weight. And like the plastic version, this one is a lot more sturdy. And it also comes with a clip on the back here, so I guess you can hang that off or something and have the mon and have the projector on the top there, which is just a standard mounting screw. Now what I tend to do with these projectors is put on a hot swappable tripod stand clip so I can use a more sturdy tripod like what the camera's on there, just so I don't have any damages if it knocks over. And it gives you the versatility of being able to move up and down around uh, instead of being sort of stuck on this little thing here. So now moving on to the actual device itself. This is gonna be a somewhat of a comparison from the P400 Plus to this to show you how size does not matter. So coming out of this little sleeve here, look at that, that is tiny. This is the P400 Plus. Now it's quite a bulky device. Like I say, it does have an internal battery, so that may be where they're getting the thickness from. Uh, but as you can see, the SLC 450 is a little bit longer but the width is incredible. 
how much they've been able to take away from that, still keep it at the best possible quality. Done with the P400 Plus. So let's move on to the build quality. Pretty much made out of all plastic, uh, but it's a durable plastic. It doesn't overheat because they have these three fans on the side here, which keep constant air flowing. So you won't ever feel this really heat up too much. It does obviously get a bit of heat, but it's nothing severe. So don't panic if you've plugged it in for six hours, you're good to go. It won't explode, it won't set on fire, you're good. But with the build quality, it's not really much to go over. Like I say, it is just plastic. They do have these rubber little feet here, so when it's on something sturdy, that's not going anywhere. Now, moving on to the functionality of this, like I say, you've got the three fans on the side here. You will hear them if you have it on boost mode, because it does get rather loud with the three fans on the side here. So if you've got it this side and you're sitting next to it, you will notice them fans kicking out. Some hefty old noises. But luckily enough, they supply you with a audio jack, so you can use speakers so you can optimize the quality of the audio because this only has one speaker on the front here. Now don't get me wrong, speaker does sound amazing. At low volume, it's still rather loud and crispy, but because it's such a small tweaker, it doesn't hold a lot of bass. Uh, if it does go too loud, you are at risk of blowing the speaker and completely just crackling the noise for every single pitch. So I would recommend you go and just get even some cheap third party speakers that you can plug into this just to save you that speaker on the front there. Next up is a video in for a full HD my so if you have a laptop thing like that you can plug your laptop in and this could be a projector for that so if you're in school uni you're presenting in the office this would be perfect because you could literally put this in your back pocket whack it on the table plug your laptop in and project whatever you want onto the wall underneath that is the focal point this is a manual focus it's not autofocus so you do have to use the dial to dial in the focus depending on the length that you're away from the wall it is rather simple so don't feel like that's going to be too much of a hassle. Before I jump to the next thing though, I just wanna say the audio jack is also used for headphones if you really want to use headphones with this. You might have to sit a bit close, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but anywho, you can use headphones if you want to. Moving on is the DC port in. Now, like I say, that's for the charging block to keep it going for as long as you want it to. And then finally on this side is the on off button. On the back, you've got your USB 2.0 and your TF card and SD card slot, so you can have your media playing from a USB or a SD card. And then on the front is, again, your speaker and the projector itself. And then on top here, is a very nice simplistic design. On the top here, you have your volume up and down. These are touch sensitive, they're not clicky buttons. In the middle, you have your enter button, and on the outsides, you have your arrow keys. And then down at the bottom here is on the left option key, and then on the right side is the back button. That is the device itself. Now, let's go through some specs of this while showing some B-roll so you can see it in action. So as mentioned before, it being the silicon liquid crystal technology, that enables denser cells with softer pixels, deeper blacks, and sharpened clarity with no jagged edges found. So for it being super small, it is super bright using their RGB LEDs instead of your typical white LEDs. So that gives it a much crisper, brighter feeling and look to the vibrant colors and images on the screen. 60 inches, you're gonna get a 96 inch monitor. At 70 inches, 112 inches monitor. 80 inches, 127 inch monitor, and at 90 inches, you'll be given a 143 inch monitor. With the wireless mirroring, you can use Android or iPhones. And with it also having 5G connectability for Wi-Fi, that means streaming has never been easier and it's perfect for indoor and outdoors with its four-way digital ketone, digital zoom, which means it's great for home theaters. If you need to adjust the screen in any way possible, you can do so. And as mentioned before, it does support the multiple device connectivities with USB headphones and HDMI, also SD card and TF cards. So with the specs, we're looking at 450 LED lumens with a contrast ratio of 1000 to one, and the noise coming from this device is down as 30 dB. The aspect ratio show is the standard 16 by 9 with light source coming in at 30,000 hours of LED usage so that's plenty of time to watch all your favorite movies without this thing dying out. There's a few different menu languages from English, Spanish, French, German, Italian and Chinese. This is running the Android 9.0 with App Store installed already. With the USB stick, it can go up to 64 gigabytes. With the micro SD card, that can also go to 64 gigabytes and network drive is through your Wi-Fi. The supported formats are XLS, PDF, DOC, PPT, MP3, WMA, OGG, WAV, JPEG, AVI, BMP, GIF, and text. Color is silver gray. The dimensions of this device is five inches by four inches by 1.5 inches. Uh, the weight is at 12 ounces, so it is a super light device. Power consumption is 30 watts on boost mode, and the video in is HDMI 1080p and 4K 30 FPS supported. 
iOS and Android mirroring. Now, I've just read on here as well, that the audio out is Bluetooth 5.0 as well, so you can use Bluetooth speakers with this. For that reason, again, if you've got surround sound, you can hook up a soundbar or a subwoofer, things like that to sort of take the pressure off of the front speaker here. So yeah, just reading here on the resolution, if you are 10 inches away, you will be getting a 16 inch monitor. The highest is 100 inches away, which gives you a 160 inch monitor. But that is everything to do with this little device here. Now, hopefully I've covered everything for you. This does support Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, 5. Every console that runs with HDMI will be supported through this. Now, if you do have any other questions about this device or anything around this device, let me know in the comments below and I'll surely get back to you on that. Little conclusion of who this would be for. This would be perfect for your gaming, movie nights, so any household personnel would benefit from having something such as small as this. Easy to store, easy to get out, plug in and just play. Great for offices as well, if you run a little business or have clients come over, this would be perfect to show off photography, imagery in any sort of way, artistry and stuff like that. So technically, this is for everyone and anyone. Even weddings, if you've got them coming up, this would be perfect to have a rolling slideshow of the memories from before. Now, last thing before we leave is the price. Okay, so on the AXA website, it's coming in at 219 pounds. Now in the UK, that equivalents to 174.23, which I think is a reasonable price for something this powerful. On Amazon, you probably might see it cheaper, but after shipping, because they only ship from the US at the moment, it will add up to around the same $220 with shipping. For that price, I think you are definitely getting something well worth it. Perfect little stocking filler. I mean, that would literally fit in a stocking, but it's a quite expensive stocking filler. Perfect for Christmas, birthdays, and any other occasion. Now, I just wanna say a huge thank you to AXA for sending this out, and also the P400 Plus from the last video. In no way is this a biased review. I never do that. If I don't find the product suitable, I will explain that in the video. I never let a company tell me what to say about their product because at the end of the day, I'm the one reviewing it as a consumer, as a person that is interested in such a product. So I will give you the full honest opinion about their devices. And with that being said, as of now, I haven't found anything wrong with this device. With the P400 Plus, I had to send the other one back and get a new one replaced because it did start having some issues with the projection, with some like line issues, but once I sent the new one, no issues there. So the same with this, so far, I have not had any issues with testing this out for the B-roll. So that's a bonus in my eyes. But again, I just wanna say a massive thank you for them sending it out. And a huge thank you to you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. If in any way you found this video insightful or gave you a bit of value towards looking at something like this, please leave a like, hit subscribe and the notification bell because I have loads of products coming and I would hate for you to miss out on some amazing tech that's come onto the market. But as always, capture, create, captivate. That's what we've just done here. I'll see you all in the next one.